Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have another awesome reading, Sagittarius. As the saga goes, most likely here, uh, this may be about new love because we have blossoming right here. Yes, and uh, unless you're a flower child, Sagittarius, from the 60s, are you? If you are, then, you know, hats off to you, right? Mm -hmm. You're just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. And the next card we have here is the true path. And we're going to cover these people here because uh, they're in their birthday suits. They are, and it's hard to tell, but, uh, you know, the, the cameras over here are, uh, mm -hmm, they're better than the human eye, unfortunately, uh, at times, right? Not better, but uh, you guys uh, follow me, right? Yeah. And so we start with the page of cups, the queen of cups, the world. She's also in her birthday suit next to the blossoming card and the true path. And both of these, she's in her birthday suit and so are these people. And these people are holding each other's hands like, and they're dancing and they're, they're undressed and, uh, they're just, you know, full of bliss and joy here. And somebody wants something. They want to blossom. They want to blossom a union or bloom a union. <laughs> Uh, whatever the proper English is here, right? Excuse me, you guys. <coughs> we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups uh, is in this deck is wishful thinking and uh, wishful thinking and also daydreaming. Yeah, daydreaming. And I'm thinking of you, Aretha Franklin, right? Mm -hmm. Those were such cool songs, right? Yeah. And then she starts saying you know, what a great guy he is, and, uh, he'll, we just, he'll just say, let's get away, yeah, wow, I mean, those days are, I don't know, they seem like they've slipped away, right, they do anyway, but maybe not for you guys, right, and so, here she is, and, uh, somebody's daydreaming about you, they're wishful thinking about this true path with you, Sagittarius, yeah, mm -hmm. and, uh, we also have this card, the King of Cups, in this deck, and we had to cover up the anatomy we did, we wanted to teach you a little bit about the anatomy today, Sagittarius, because we're natural born teachers, but we just thought that you, you might already know about this, right? This is, uh, the woman who is, you know, here's the umbilical cord and this is her child and, uh, the baby's very beautiful and, uh, the baby has yet to be born right inside the womb. And, uh, yes, that's always beautiful when we see life. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. and so let's look at the king of cups because I believe that is the card and uh, this is about birthing something yes it is and let's have a look at that mm -hmm. okay this is the queen yes this is a queen I beg your pardon and a wise and honest woman kind and friendly who may be able to offer precious advice for making your dreams come true. You can trust her. I feel like this, what this person is, I don't know if they're a woman or not Sagittarius, right? It could be, they could be anybody as long as they're, you know, of the human, the human persuasion, right? We just don't, don't send us any bots Sagittarius. Please don't do that or any virtual boyfriends. Yeah, we're not into that. <laughs> and so uh, I feel like some people will accept that stuff, right? Yeah, I'm not kidding. And so, uh, but we have, what we have here is somebody daydreaming about birthing a union with you. We do. And we have Cupid's arrow and here's Cupid, right? Oh, they're not showing Cupid. No, they're just showing his arrow. Well, that's what it says. Have faith. Love is come. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting hesitation. Now, you know, the hesitation part, somebody's coming. They're not going to hesitate. That's the last word here, but uh, they have some type of caution, I believe here is ascending and here's a little girl and, uh, you know, she has all these balloons and she thinks she's ascending to the rainbow. She does, uh, either that or she's on the mountain and she thinks she's going to meet God possibly. Uh, but you know, this is great. It's a great card. She's going up right. And transcending obstacles. This is overcoming obstacles, rising above learning expansion. So somebody is becoming very wise here. That's good because we always support that. We do, uh, mm -hmm. even in our own life, we sure do, right? Even though you got to take the bumps with the bruises, you do, right? Growing pains. 
Yeah, you do. And uh, the new phase is here and preparing for union. Somebody's preparing for a union. And I feel like when they show up, Sagittarius, they're hoping that you're going to like start to pack your bags. I'm not kidding. That's how this is. Uh, uh, or, un, you know, I feel like this is, you know, what's going on here, right? Uh, here comes Cupid, Sagittarius. Now, I don't know if your person's Greek, right? Mm -hmm. Some Greek men are real cuties. Yeah, they are. We have love. This is unconditional love. And here's uh, the girl here holding the heart. And uh, mm -hmm. and this is self-love, unconditional love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Somebody has unconditional love for you. Yes, they do. Maybe they're going to bring you some balloons. Mm -hmm. Maybe. And uh, yeah, let's get into the reading now. And uh, before we get started into the tarot, we have a five-minute psychic reading that is free. The link is below. That's with Mystic Sense. Uh, and I also am offering my own private readings. Please see the About tab here on my YouTube page and go from there. So let's get into it here. There's a cycle ending, and the first card over here was the Page of Cups. So somebody here, they come with their giant cup of love, Sagittarius. And, you know, hopefully there's not a real fish in it because, you know, uh, who wants a fish-flavored cocktail? I don't, right? No, I like fish, but I can't imagine, honestly, having a fish-flavored cocktail. I bet you some people in the world do that. Maybe Vikings or, you know. <laughs> Let's see, we have in the bottom of this deck is the Five of Pentacles. Ouch. So somebody, this person's living a major lack without you or... Uh, you know, they're leaving somebody out to come be with you. Or it's possible you left them out in the past. They left you out, right? I mean, this is kind of a four different things here, but they're all kind of the same. It, it talks about somebody feeling uh, their, their life is empty, basically. And it can talk about leaving somebody out. So only you guys will know this. And with the baby showing up over here, we know that this is to birth something new. Yeah, we see the beautiful baby. Yeah, all babies are beautiful. They are. Mm -hmm. The older I get, the, the kinder I get. Remember my, my daughter used to go, about every baby. Mom, isn't that, beef, you know, Mom, isn't that baby, you know, beautiful? If that was her, you know, thinking probably, you know, that someday she wanted to have a child. And I'm like, well, I got my kids. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, the babies, all babies are beautiful, but I'm not going to stop and look at everybody's kid in the street. No. <laughs> so let's see what we have, you guys. The King of Cups starting out. The Fool. Queen of Pentacles. Devil. Okay, we got to cover the devil, right? And uh, we do. And uh, he has his two, uh, we have to cover him and his two chained prisoners here. Yeah. So this is in the past, Sagittario. So this means that you uh, were feeling down and out about this at some point. We don't know when, right? We don't have a, a time machine here. No, we don't. Uh, but, you know, or uh, you were in fear if this person would show up. And, you know, there are chains here, but these chains are being lifted. They are. And uh, there's chains. There's like different chains going on. One is I really want a new beginning with Sagittarius and I'm, lifting my own chains, but somebody could be also, your person could be maybe ending a cycle, uh, uh, maybe their own, and that's, you know, but this is un unclear what that path may be at this point. And what's on your mind, Sagittarius, is uh, the Nine of Cups. So this person is your wish. They are. Uh, maybe you just got a, a blue and white tunic lately that's, you know, flowy. You could have, <laughs> we have the Page of Wands, the Eight of Wands. Eight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and uh, we don't want these pe these people to say that these are uh, people here, even though they're animals. And the Wheel of Fortune is in your hopes and desires. So you're hoping that this the wheel is going to turn in your favor. And, you know, with the eclipse here uh, and Jupiter and Taurus, there's going to be expansion in love, creativity, money, stability, beauty. Yeah, because Taurus is Venus energy. It's very stable energy. And uh, Jupiter is, you know, the planet of Sagittarius. And this is good luck, expansion, opportunities. Yes, it can be growth because of the expansion. I mean, it's uh, Jupiter is, is uh, the great benefic. Yeah, they are. And they provide 
benefits baby then we have the queen of wands sagittarius yes and venus is a benefit too it sure is so we have these two planets together uh you know jupiter or jupiter in taurus well you know taurus is ruled by uh, venus so it's really the energy of two planets very beautiful energy here uh with this jupiter and taurus energy yes and uh yeah gonna be a lot of goodies for a lot of people right and uh mostly the goody people so the people who act like you know uh, they're trying to do good uh, for society or, you know, but it's really to hurt somebody else or it's a fake virtue. Not for those, I'm afraid. Yeah, only for the uh, genuine, right? The genuine people. Yeah, that's what society's going on. They're trying to act like they're being virtuous and this is, and they're tricking people into thinking that they are, but there's no virtue in it at all. In fact, it is quite uh, horrible. Yeah, it is. But Let's get into this, Sagittarius, because honestly, for you guys, and I was not talking about your love life, no, <laughs> in case you want what? In case you went to the kitchen, like to get coffee or something, right? And so maybe there is an earth sign in this reading. We have the king of cups. We have the queen of cups. There could be a water sign here. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, maybe there's another Sagittarian. Capricorn's here. Uh, any earth sign, as I, you know, as I said, any water sign, and then the wheel of fortune, maybe another Sag, any fire sign. So everybody's here. Uh, you know, the air signs could be here as well. They sure could. Uh, maybe just not showing up uh, with hard evidence, and that's okay. And so we have the King of Cups to begin. And uh, let's get a couple cards here, Sagittarius. And uh, let's see what else we have for Sagittarius, please. For Sagittarius. And we have the Page of Cups again. See, these are repeaters here. Uh, he looks like he's been drinking out of this cup. This page always looks kind of older and puffy, like he was drinking, right? Mm -hmm. And he has a little bit of an attitude. I like the young one. The young one's really earnest here, and, you know, he looks very like, I want to do a good job. This guy's over here like, do you want my cup or not? <laughs> That's kind of how it looks, right? And I'm like, where do they get these... Uh, why does he have an attitude? Yeah. And so here's the full card. Somebody could be one. Somebody maybe has this kind of, sometimes that energy though is, uh, I hope this person will take, take my cup, but I'm, you know, I'm a little concerned. It could be that kind of, right? That attitude, you know, when you see people, uh, with the look on their face and the full card here, uh, you, somebody's going to take uh, a risk on you, Sagittarius, take a chance as you dance in romance, right? And this is, Earth, wind, and fire, right? Who kicks butt on any any group today? Any group, right? Yeah, because they were dancers. They wrote their own songs. Uh, they had falsetto. Sometimes they didn't sing with falsetto. I mean, they had ballads, love uh, dance songs, etc. So, yeah, they did, and uh, mm -hmm, beautiful. And here's the Four of Cups, and you know, Sagittarius. Somebody is. Maybe you're bored here, but I feel like there's a rejection for some in this reading. Somebody's rejecting something for their true path, right? Here's a true path card. Uh, you'll be able to see it more in the extended, right? But here's these two people, and here they are. You know, those those are their hands over here, and they're dancing. Their heads are back, like backwards, like, woo, we're together. You know, like little kids who, you know, who kind of play a game together, and, you know, they go skipping down the street, and they go, wee, or whatever, and they're on their teeter-totter. That's the energy here, right? Mm hmm. Or their seesaw. I like to call it a teeter totter. And we have the Queen of Pentacles here. And uh, let's see what we have here. I feel like somebody thinks you might, maybe you could reject them. The Two of Wands reversed. Yeah. And so there has been a crossroads in this reading for, for you or this person. And, uh, but a choice has already been made, right? We know this that a choice has been made because the Seven of Cups is here. And the world card is here, which indicates a cycle's ended, which also indicates a new cycle is chosen. Yeah. Here's a nine of cups on your mind, Sagittarius. Yeah. Here's your, here's your, uh, your wish over here. Mm -hmm. Today he's, he's not eating anything there. He said, I'm on a diet, right? He said, Sagittarius is my wish and I'll eat Sagittarius up, right? <laughs> and then we have the knight of swords. So in the near future here, this is somebody taking aggressive action here 
or very assertive, fast action uh, for a new direction and a renewal with you, Sagittarius, I believe. Yeah. We have the Eight of Wands. Remember, Sagittarius, the reading could be switched. You could be doing this. And for some, you may be the person that, uh, that because it's possible in this reading that somebody's being left behind. It is also possible. Although, that is not the major energy here. No, the major energy here or the main energy here is, or the overall is somebody's bringing you their love. And here we see it, Sagittarius, with the King of Cups and the Page. Yeah, so we see he's, the king's holding a big cup. He looks a little, uh, he looks a little doubtful here. He does. And then we have the page here and you know, he looks like he's been up all night and he was drinking. Yeah, he does. And don't knock on my door that way. No, I don't like that kind of look. No, it's okay when you're real young, but you can grow up at some point. <laughs> and so, but I feel like what's going on here is that, uh, this is clear. Somebody's bringing you their cup. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like this person is. I, this could be their energy up here, right? The fool just, you know, let me go do it. Bam. Uh, I have courage and this is my dream and my wish, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, this person has to be patient with themselves and not give up here because I think they're a little afraid. And that's what the blossoming card talks about. Wait for it to blossom. Don't jump the gun. Right. And the beautiful uh, woman pops out of the flower. Eight of wands is in your concern. This is change and growth and progress. Yeah. You want cycles to end. Here's the fool again. Right. And, uh, he's wearing a different dress and, you know, mm -hmm, he went over to, uh, you know, uh, the thread shop or whatever. And, uh, he got this on sale. He must've cause, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> he must've got it on sale. And here's the eight of swords in your environment and, uh, with it. And so here you are, I feel like what this is, is this, whoever's jumping off the cliff to be with you is like feeling like, well, this eight of swords, they feel stuck about it, but there, there's a release here in your environment too. This is, yeah, there's a release here because there's some type of end to a, com there's a completion in this reading, but this release here, you could be feeling stuck, like waiting for this person, right? Uh, it's possible because this is stuck energy, but I feel like this is more of a release here, uh, for a new beginning for the fool, right? Yeah. And he's like, you know, I know what I want and, uh, mm -hmm, I figured it out and let's see. And we have the wheel of fortune in your hopes. Let's get a card and you have the page of wands with it. So we have the page of wands twice, the page of cups twice, uh, the king and the queen of cups. And this is a divine couple and who Cupid's arrow is has been sent and love is coming Sagittarius right here. Have faith, a surprise invitation. Wow. And right. That sounds like fun. A surprise. A surprise is always sound fun, right? When we were a kid though, we used to be, you know, open your mouth and close your eyes and you will get a big surprise. And then, you know, we put like a rock, you know, in my cousin's mouth or something like that. Right. And we were a little, we were naughty, right? But we had fun. Queen of wands, six of pentacles. This is in your outcome. This is you, Sagittarius. You look real serious here, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you look a little uh, forlorn here or <laughs> sad. <laughs> but hey, you know, just maybe it's just real serious. But uh, your black hat is here. And uh, I feel like this is this may or may, may not be your attitude, this kind of... I feel like this is more like this person. Because this person, uh, I feel like, is in this energy looking right at the Six of Pentacles. I wonder if I'm going to have a give and take. Or if Sagittarius uh, might turn me into a beggar and, uh, just, you know, breadcrumb me. Maybe they're concerned you'll breadcrumb them. Something happened in the past in this reading and somebody realized that you are the true path. Yeah, you are Sagittarius, right? Maybe you're the true empath, right? Mm -hmm. Yesterday we were chatting about that when I was, uh, in a, uh, we were discussing that when I was in a seminar and we're going to go to the extended Sagittarius. We are, and your person's first card is the hyena, right? Interesting animals, a hyena. I always think how, uh, how ugly they are, but the hyena, um, uh, the energy of this is somebody who is kind of cracking jokes or, you know, kind of hiding their true feelings. But this is somebody who is, uh, really wants some, something to bring them happiness, but they are kind of, they're kind of sad, but they are kind of hiding their feelings. This, this is your person's energy. The turtle is here is crossing them. And the turtle in the crossing energy is uh, supportive energy too. This speaks of somebody who knows that you are home. 
This is like you make them feel grounded. And this person doesn't feel so grounded right now. This is why I feel like in front of their friends, they are acting like they are happy, but they are really not, right? Yeah, and I feel like that's what's going on. Uh, and they are coming to ask you for something stable with the turtle. Yeah, they are. And uh, why it's all happening for your person here. And we're going to get some other cards with this extended. We're, this won't be a, we're not going to use a 10 card on this particular deck. But the earthworm is why it's all happening for this person, Sagittarius. And the earthworm is somebody, uh, the root here is somebody who is earnest. This is honest, right? And earnest means I, I want to make a difference or, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of uh, inspired. This is earnest, right? Um, this is why that's what Ernesto means. That's a beautiful name for a man, right? If he, if he lives up to, that's my son's middle name too, Ernesto. Yeah. And so, you know, this earthworm here, uh, that's his name, Ernesto. It is, this is somebody who is shy, hesitant, reluctant. They don't have to be shy, but if you are hesitant, it's a kind of a shy energy. I feel like this person is coming and we saw hesitance uh, with another card in the reading I, uh, right here, this one here, Cupid's arrow, surprise invitation or meeting hesitation. So they are not hesitating, they're coming, but they're a little like cautious or reluctant. Uh, reluctance, not the exact, they say reluctant here as well, but it's a bit of reluctant, but it's not the overall and the overall energy for them to share their inner vision. This person's coming to share their vision. And it is Sagittarius to get into your birthday suits with them because the true path and, uh, you know, here's the, uh, mm -hmm, the world dancer and she's in her true path. And then, you know, over here and she's in her, uh, her birthday suit, which is started out as her true path. It did. <laughs> and then over here's the baby, right? The mother holding the baby, but it's, she's just, the baby's still in the womb. So this person wants to share their vision with you. I feel like their vision is that you are home to them and they want to offer you something stable. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe this person is gonna, going to try to maybe kind of win you over with humor, possibly because the hyena, you know, mm -hmm. we're going to end this reading. We're going to have a tarot spread on them too. And uh, let's look at how they feel about you, Sagittarius first. And uh, we're going to have an ex a, a, a very telling, uh, uh, very telling reading for them. Let's turn over the cards right here. How do they feel about Sagittarius? They're all super affordable Sagittarius. The link is below in the description box. We have the sun card and uh, mm -hmm, the baby here. My fingers are over the baby's uh, upper. This is uh, this person, how they feel about you. They want success with you. You make their life feel successful and happy and joyous. joyous. You restore them. Yeah, because that's what the uh, the second card, the turtle, and you know, these other cards here, you restore them and, uh, you bring them joy and they have been illuminated here because the true path is here as well. So yeah, you are their true path. We're going to end this Sagittarius. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, the link is below for the extended. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. doesn't want to turn off for whatever reason. Let's see here. Okay, well, we'll have to cut. <laughs>